Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So today we're actually going to buy some stuff. Um, we're actually changing how we're going to play up. Uh, there's not many, I think we're on like the last week of FS17 before we go to 19. And my work has absolutely killed all my time to actually play any game. I've bought like five new games I haven't got to play them. So, as much as I would love to do the super realistic thing, by the time I break out the steering wheel, get it set up, get everything ready, and all of that, uh, and think of like a storyline for the day, and yada yada yada, we just, we don't have the time. So, it kind of sucks, but uh, I think, uh, you know, until I can be more stable in my work life, <laughs> we're just going to do it this way. So, uh, we sold the tractor. Uh, we're not going to play unrealistically, but I'm not going to go into like, oh yeah, we're using a drone and da 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 da. And uh, we're not using gearbox or anything like that. So, I can just simply come in and play, um, have a good time while actually doing it. I can enjoy it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can enjoy it too. So, things that we need to do today. Um, we have to spread some slurry about. We need to sell some crops. We need to take care of the animals. That's our goal for the end of the video. <clears throat> uh, we're still going to play by my timeline, so we're still in quote-unquote October. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to get the things in the ground. So if we take a look at uh, when we can plant here. So we can do wheat and barley today, and uh, that's it. So, we're going to play at times one, we're going to get it in there, uh, you know, do what we can, and just, you know, kind of take care of things. Um, I'm sorry for those that were watching this for the super realism. I just, I, I wish I had the time, but I just, I don't. And, like, it was kind of waiting on me a little bit, I guess, um, that, you know, I wasn't putting out... Uh, videos and stuff for you guys and uh, that was the main reason is I, I don't have time and you know stories and all that fun stuff and trying to make everything work it, it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and uh, you know all that fun stuff so yes mouse and keyboard does suck and until my uh, arrangements change that we're just gonna go with that I've seen how it works in FS19. That's like one of the three things I know about in FS19 is kind of how all that's going to work. So we just need to, you know, take it, take a slow till then. We'll get all this stuff out, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll still have a good time. So I know people are like fiending for FS19 content, and that's coming. I've got it. I was not put on the. Uh, on the uh, pre-release, so I don't know how that happened. Uh, you know, I'm pretty active in the community, and I'm not going to complain the Giants or anything like that, but you know, people with like 10 subs somehow got the game early, and I didn't, so that's where that is. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're not going to fill these guys all the way up. We need to get some up to the cows. And get some, you know, we just... We need to take care of a few things. Uh, I feel like we've been neglecting. So, my main push is to have videos back up every day uh, of something, whether farming sim or uh, about the uh, Tomb Raider game. And I think mainly I'm just going to play games that I enjoy. You know, if you guys want to watch and stick around, that's freaking great, and I love you all for it. But if you don't, I can completely understand why. But, you know, People change, uh, things change, circumstances change. And I think that's, you know, kind of an important thing to remember. Um, uh, it, it affected it so much that I was not able to watch uh, the play, Salznovka, which kind of sucks. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that somebody will port it over to FS19. But uh, we, personally, we will be going to... Uh, Hillsburn, the German map. Uh, that's the one I've decided I'm going to play. 
The race seems to be really about the American map, and that's all on them, but... We're going to play uh, play around on the German one and see if we can do like some small town farming. Um, I think it's more interesting when some of the stuff is smaller. Uh, I did actually get my computer built, so everything's fine. We're actually running at 60 solid FPS right now. So hopefully everything is okie dokie. So I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to buy a uh, slurry thingy, and we'll get to work on that next. Actually, no, I lied. We won't do that. We can stop this. There's enough for a day, correct? Yeah. Way more than enough for today. Uh, we need to go sell some crops. We need the monies, or we won't be buying anything. So, while, yes, we, <laughs> we are going to be playing, you know, with no storyline or anything like that, we are going to be playing, uh, with the same mindset. You know, we did inherit the farm. We need to find a tractor for us to use. Still yet. Uh, this lease runs out at the end of the day. And I can't remember how much it is per hour. But, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we have to do that. Now, uh, where does this sell? As I stop in the middle of the road. Sunflower price is going up at... Balmory Stores is looks like it's down in the bottom. Okay. And we need traffic back on. Alright, so we got 1,600 give or take. Should be able to make a little bit of cash here. Not a lot, but uh, enough to get us by. Here we go. 8,000. So, we are making money. We are making money. Okay, I thought we would use uh, use this guy. Because we never use it. So, um, what can we sell here? Uh, there's a great demand for wheat. I think that's Malone's Farm Shop. I don't know where that one is. Um, oh, so it's over here in the middle. Okay, so yeah, we can uh, we can do some wheat. Not gonna be the greatest dollar per run, but uh, we do need to have a little bit of money, and the river can pull it. May not be the fastest in the world, but it is faster than the uh, than the other one. If we go out of here. Should be a bypass road. If we go down. Uh, Go down this road here to the left. There should be another road uh, on our right. Whoa. That we can uh, take down in there. Or am I dumb? No, it's there. I don't think we've ever taken it, though. Oh, don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, right here it is. Okay, a little single track. Too bad. And when we come out, we make a right, and then we should be there. Now, my luck, the place is going to be closed. Because it does actually close, so... That would be terrible in its own right, is if it were, you know, to be closed right now. Oh! Oh! I was about to say, hopefully nothing's coming, but guess what? Oh, I can't see. So where do we sell? Oh, it's going to make me do that. Right? We're in the right spot? Can't tell. I think? So if I, I'm like the world's worst at backing one of these up. Yep. Oh no, I'm gonna lose all my time trying to just back up this small little trailer. 
And I've watched somebody back one of these up as a double, and that just blew my mind. All right, get out of here. Be able to open that up. Here we go. All right. So uh, another thing to note, uh, moving forward, is in FS19 we won't have uh, won't have access to any of the you know fun things like the uh, uh, the cheat, um, which I, I think I'm going to just distance myself away from and just use console commands uh, in the future to take screenshots because moving fastly. Fastly. Is that a word? Fastly? Moving quickly and everything. While it is a lot of fun, um, it has actually killed a lot of the joy I've had in this game. It's too easy for me to go, okay, well, I can cheat my way around, and I can get a lot of money very, very quickly. So, that is something uh, I will look... Oh, God. Why are you so fast? So yeah, that that is something uh, I'm gonna look at, uh, you know, not using uh, like ever again. I know it will be ported over to FS19. Hopefully, with more options, like I can enable certain things and disable certain things. Like the screenshot feature is nice, you know. Um, there are a lot of features in the mod that I really really enjoy, like the uh, the focus. Uh, you can change your uh, field of view very very quickly. And, you know, I, I think that that's a good thing. But at the same time, I think that, uh, you know, it has killed a lot of fun. Okay, what can we sell now? We could uh, polish off the canola. That's always a good seller. And... Like, what is this place right next door? What can we sell there? Where are we at? We're here. Gypsy Hill Stores. So what's uh what sells there? Okay, that's actually our best there. Okay, so we need to pull forward a little bit and get the canola. All right. Now what I'm hoping on, and uh, I'm hoping to get the slurry spread, or at least start it today, because uh, then we have to plow it. I think we can plow in the uh, in the first day of winter. Um, I know you can't like do much else. Whoa, 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 whoa! Drifto trucko. Yeah, give me a hit. But I think that we can still plow. So if we can get it spread, then turn it in. That's gonna be you know, very, very good for us. That is the hope, anyway. That is definitely the hope. So we've got $18,000. Um, we can buy our slurry stuff at, I think, like, 22. Or we can just get the small one, but we'd have to fill it up a lot. Um, and we really wouldn't be utilizing our tractor horsepower. So we want to have equipment big enough for our tractor. Uh, something that's, like actually gonna make the tractor work a little bit so I was thinking like this one holds 12,000 that's 110 so I think that that's what we're gonna go with that one's way too big and Hallmark's way too big so yeah we'll go with uh, the $25,000 one so we need just a little bit more money we just need a touch Okay, soybeans. Still the best price. Even though it's in the red. I know that we're selling in the red, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to sell in the red. Uh, for today. Just humor me, please. <laughs> and we'll be golden. Am I seriously, like, short right now? I'm, like, $500 short. That's That feels so bad. Alright, so we got enough for our uh, 
our slurry tanker. Let's run down there really quickly and get in. Now, I don't know if I've ever used this one, uh, like one here at all. I thought this one had the, uh, the hoses, but it doesn't look like it does. Um, but yeah, but there it is. So now this is like the business that I actually like work for, not Quaker, but, uh, you know, we do, uh, slurry spreading and stuff like that. And, uh, Am I in the wrong spot? feel like I'm in the wrong spot here. Or is this for the pigs? No, the pigs are somewhere else. So it's got to be right here somewhere. There we go. So yeah, basically, you know, we've got a PTO-driven PTO pump that goes up and, uh, you know, overloads it and then presses it out the back, right? So you're injecting uh, your slurry. Or, well, I guess you're spreading it in this course. So it comes out here in the back as a gun. So you've got a uh, gate here. This should actually have two lines. So you have an up and a down for your hydraulics for an open and a closed gate uh, for your gun. But yeah, that is how that's supposed to work. I'm hoping to get into more, uh, definitely an FS-19. Uh, we're going to be fully organic all the time. Uh, I've heard of, like, some of the, uh, the horror stories of injecting nitrogen and killing, you know, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, like your ground ecosystem. Like, most of the stuff has no life in it anymore. The, it's basically dead ground. It's just dirt. There's no uh, biomass in it or anything. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. You know. Alright. So, let's... Oh, it's only 10 meters right. That's correct. <laughs> but yeah, like the stuff that I work with is more like the, the Zunhammo where uh, it injects it into a distribution head. Uh, it's called a distributor. And it gets forced into a open and closed pit. Um, so, like, you're basically... You're opening up the ground, almost like you're going to seed. And then you're, uh, you're laying in your manure, or your slurry. I'm sorry, it's definitely your slurry. <laughs> you're laying that in. And uh, then you're, you're closing it back up. So... Uh, it's definitely different. I don't think we're going to have enough to do this field, though. I hope that that's a... Uh, I hope that, you know, we can get most of this field done. I don't want to use any other kind of... Uh, any other fertilizer. I want to be natural. That's, like, one of my main goals uh, when playing the game, is to have like a natural progression and to be completely honest the rate that uh, this thing comes out is extremely nuts um, because we're not injecting so the like when you inject you you have to have gallons flow right so most of our systems run the 2000 gallon per minute plus uh, area uh, that's going into the head or you know the distributor and everything like that now we have guys that can run 4,600 gallons a minute, and you know that's that's some literage. You know, um, I can't remember the exact uh, the exact amount of uh, liters and gallons and all that fun stuff, but you know, with that little small Dota pump on the front, we should not be pressing out. Uh, the amount that we are out of this uh, so you know if it's still like that in FS19 uh, I will be changing config valves uh, to slow down that rate because it's a little bit ridiculous
because you know we're, we're injecting okay so we have to have high pressure and high flow whenever uh, you inject the material into the ground whereas you know spreading you're just hitting the wash plate and uh, it's getting pushed around so yeah I don't see where the usage is uh, I think that they just picked a generic number and it's probably in there for game balance and everything which is okay most of the time but uh, for what we're trying to do uh, not so much I don't think we're going to be able to get winter wheat in um, as much as I'd want to We don't have a cedar and we don't have any income besides the crops that are already in the uh, in the silo. So I think winter wheat might have to wait. Uh, if it gets too bad during the winter, we must skip winter. Which is not a big deal. But uh, we are running three day seasons. So it is technically October. So it's October. Uh, November, December, January are your uh, winter months. So February starts to warm back up, and uh, in March we'll be able to, should be able to plant again. I think that that's how it's, uh, how seasons is set. Oop, the wrong button there. Yeah, sunflowers and everything, they come in late. Okay, so we're back at it, second load in. I uh, really don't believe that we're going to have enough to finish out. But, uh, you know what, it's, uh, it's free at this point. All we have is our time in it, so I cannot, uh, cannot really complain. So, you know, back onto the solar thing, because believe it or not, even though my job deals in the distribution of shit, I actually do, like, really enjoy my job, and I, like, I enjoy learning about it, if that makes any sense. So, it's as close to farming as I'll probably ever get. <laughs> but, um... So, uh, most of these places, um, you know, whenever they're uh, being worked, uh, like some of these big dairy farms and everything, they have millions of gallons of slurry that they're going to, you know, use uh, for their year. And it takes uh, a pumping crew that's competent with, you know, enough equipment and everything, you know, like a lead pump and, let's say, a force feed to, to clean out the... Uh, your, uh, oh, it's the thing that holds the slurry. Can't remember the name. Like your slurry pit. Let's just call it a slurry pit, even though it's not the name. <laughs> uh, that thing, uh, it takes about a week with a good, competent crew, uh, flowing, you know, roughly 2,800 to 3,200 gallons per minute. Uh, that's injecting into the ground. And, uh, most of these guys work like, 14, 15 hour days. So, you know, it does it does take a while. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they would be doing a lot better job than me. <laughs> because I'm missing a lot here. I'd, I'd be fired, or I would be uh, what they call the on-site guy. So, the way our stuff works is it's not a uh, it's not a system like this, right? So you've got a tanker that you're pulling around. Um, ours is set up with a uh, a pump and then, you know, a couple miles of hose. Yes, miles of hose. Uh, to another pump to a, uh, I think they call it like a drag line. So it's pulled behind the tractor and it's like a big cultivator. I probably have pictures of one, you know, somewhere on my phone. But, uh, yeah, so that gets, uh, that pulls, you know, and opens up the ground and everything, and, uh, closes back up the ground after it's injected. And that's how, you know, most of our guys around here work. Um, there are some people that use tanks, and, uh, they'll use, like, our pumps to fill their tanks, or, you know, they have a, uh, force feed unit built into the tank, uh, as well. So, you know, it's all just... Everybody's got their own way of doing it. And especially over in Iowa, it's kind of weird. They uh, either do slurry 
or you do uh, nitrogen injection, which is a whole other thing I never knew about. So kind of kind of neat, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we should not be going uh, through tanks as fast as we are. I think we'll have enough to do this field, which I'm okay with. All right, so we just got hit with our uh, our negative five thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, I think is what it is, to use this thing for an hour. So that's not good. So we don't have a sower, we don't have a plow, we don't have a cultivator. <laughs> we need the winter to be um, productive. So we need to uh, within the next you know couple of episodes here, we're, we're going to have to get the cows uh, definitely up. They need uh, grass. Uh, we've got the silage clamp going. It is, you know, just doing its thing. It's not going to be done for a while, and I keep passing this because I never go to it. So, uh, we've got some wool that we can sell, but I don't think the price is that good right now, so kind of want to wait on it a little bit. All right, so this is good enough. Uh, I'm not going to say it's perfect. So we'll empty out the tank on the uh, on the other field. I can't even remember the field numbers. That's how little we've played this. So uh, a field three, we can you know do like a lap until it goes empty. Uh, that's going to be better than it'll go farther than just uh, cleaning up this little bit of uh, base here. So uh, the next thing we need to do is. Uh, get some grass and stuff for the cows. We have to have that, uh, or our productivity is not going to be the best. Oh, and I did buy a go wheel, uh, because the the cows for some reason don't take straw bales. They have to have it uh, chopped and put in, so we ended up buying a go wheel uh, straw cutter, which can also mix, uh, mix a little bit of... Uh, silage together. I know it's a little bit slower that way, but it is uh, something that we have now. I think it costs like $9,000. Now this is probably all the bigger field I want in FS19. I feel that uh, you know, this is all that we really need. Um, I, I don't... There's more of a focus, not on the amount of animals that you get, but like their quality of life. So I'm hoping that... Uh, as we move, you know, forward, like you can buy different colors and stuff. Um, you know, we can get into that, uh, you know, small farm feel is uh, what I'm probably going to go for more than anything. Um, I just, uh, I want it to be a good time. I want to have fun again <laughs> without uh, worrying too much about it. And this is the end of our slurry. So, there we go. We're done. We're done with slurry. So let's take a look. Um, what do we have? Yeah, this price isn't the best. It's going up. So hopefully in the next day, it'll be pretty good. Um, our field types. All need plowed. Field five. It's looking like we've got one good layer of fertilization. So that's pretty good. Um, harvested, yes. But yeah, field three, four, and five will have completely done. I think I have enough manure to to do it in the spring. Uh, we just need the animals, which we can go look at really, really quickly. These guys, I need that number to be up. So we need more productivity. We don't have any grass. Uh, we've got, you know, hay and everything that we can give them. Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, that is... Uh, that's probably where we're going to leave it today. So a very, very dirty job, but we got it done. We got all the, you know, most of the crop sold off. We've got enough, you know, in storage for an emergency. So, yeah, we are going to have to find a pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap plow now. Uh, that's that's our, our next goal. So in the next episode, we'll be cutting grass and... Uh, don't know how I got stuck here. Yeah, we'll be uh, cutting some grass, uh, not tedding it or anything, just uh, 
cutting some up, getting a few bales, and get that, uh, you know, fed to them, get everything done. And, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to be all right here. So, everybody, thank you for watching. I'm um, sorry if things are, like, weird right now, but they're getting better. It's the slow time of the year, hopefully here in the next few weeks. So, yeah, again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. If you liked the video, let me know. If you didn't, let me know why. And I'll try to fix it. So, everybody have a good evening, and I'll see you in the next one.